Uh, good afternoon again. Uh, we're going to try for third time's a charm. Uh, this may or may not work out. Uh, don't try us at home. Remember, I do my own stunts. Uh, this is all on me. Uh, last night I went ahead and ordered a brand new uh, Continental brand belt for Ethel to see if we can go ahead and terminate this stupid chirping noise. And while I was at work today, I stopped by my uh, uh, local shop that takes care of our city equipment and we got to talking about uh, what I've been dealing with and both the shop owner and one of the head mechanics said, oh hey, have you tried, I'll tell you here in just a second. Anyway, if uh, this works out, this is going to be a, a really cheap fix and I spent $50 on a belt that I'll be probably returning because I don't need to use it. And uh, if this doesn't work, then the belt's going to arrive and life will be grand. The uh, belt will be here tomorrow while we're up in Tulsa. So, anyway, check this out. Today's episode of Epic Fails in uh, Belt Squeak Remediation is brought to you by Comet Cleanser. Now in lavender scented. Uh, the guys at the shop swore up and down that this is what they use. They sprinkle Comet Cleanser on the serpentine belt while it's running and uh, they stand by the fact that once they do this, the belt squeak goes away and does not come back. It cost me a buck, a dollar. So we're going to find out if this fixes it or not. Uh, we'll see if I can go ahead and do this without inhaling it or getting it in my eyes or any of the other stupid stuff that I'm likely to do. Brand new can unopened untampered with we're gonna find out what happens okay cans opened up i'm fixing to go ahead and start ethel up uh best place to go ahead and start sprinkling this stuff is gonna be right there where the belt comes off the water pump and goes actually comes off the ac compressor goes over to the power steering and then wraps around the water pump uh, that way i can get on the inside of the belt where it's gonna do the most good i'm certain so We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't have a fan to worry about uh, taking my fingers off, but I don't want to stick anything else down there in that belt. So um, hopefully this works out and nobody's having to call 911 because I'm solo right now. All right, power on. Fire it up. still running. Uh, it's been running now for a couple minutes. Uh, stuff went everywhere, big surprise. Uh, my air conditioner, my air compressor is building up pressure right now. As soon as it's up to pressure, I'll go ahead and get out the uh, blast nozzle here and see if I can blow some of this excess stuff away. Um, I still think I'm getting a little bit of a chirp. I mean, it's not real strong, nothing like it was. But I think I'm, I'm still hearing a little bit of something, or maybe it's just ringing in my ears at this point. Uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. I'm not super optimistic on this. Like I said, I did the same thing with baking powder, or not baking powder, baby powder a while back. And it stopped the squeak for a little while, but eventually it came back. And this has been a really, really nasty, messy solution. And if it hasn't gone completely away, I'm willing to back come back once I go ahead and uh, wash this mess off because I'm not going to leave it like this. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. It, it, it's interesting. It costs me a dollar to find out if it works. If it really does work, great. Um, you know, 
take it for what it's worth. If it works for you, fantastic. Uh, I would have never thought to go this route. Uh, the baby powder was what I thought to, to use. and it, Like I said, it worked for a little while, but once humidity becomes a factor, uh, the squeak comes back, and I'm willing to bet that uh, once this stuff goes ahead and, and gets moisture to it, uh, I'll probably be dealing with the squeak again. So, yeah, let's find out. Okay, folks. Uh, here's the deal. I can't go ahead and record this and clean it off all at the same time. So if you want to go ahead and start placing your bets now as to whether or not I lose a finger or get this stuff in my eyes or in my mouth, now's your opportunity. Do it now. Operators are standing by. All right. I uh, figured out a way I can kind of sort of do this. I've been blasting it with the air nozzle here a little bit. And so far, I came close to getting in my eyes, so if you have money on that, you might be money ahead yet, because we're not done. I was gonna stick a finger in there. Yeah, no, ain't gonna do it. I got close, but I'm not gonna. Hey. Man, this crap gets everywhere. And it's really tasty, too. <laughs> Uh, well, at least it doesn't look like I have Pablo Escobar held to a party underneath my hood now. Uh, still kind of dusty, still kind of messy. I'll clean it up later, but I'm going to give this stuff a, a chance to work. So far, so good. Uh, I thought I heard a little bit of a chirp earlier, but not so much now. Uh, let me go ahead and rev the engine a little bit. I'm going to leave the stuff on. I'll give it a shot. I'm not going to hose anything down at this point. I got most of it blown off out of here. Uh, you know, if the drug sniffing dogs show up, they're going to smell pretty. That's about it. never would have guessed that uh, Comet Cleanser would have been the answer. Uh, apparently it is. We're going to give it a shot, see how long it works, how long it lasts. Like I said, I've got a brand new Continental belt that uh, will be arriving here tomorrow. Uh, one of the advantages of uh, Summit Racing being so close by. I don't even have to pay for expedited shipping to have it the next day. Uh, or the next 
day and a half after because it's Sunday, but whatever, I don't care. I wanted to try it out, and like I said, I had my doubts, but it looks like third time's a charm. Who knew a dollar would have fixed this? I mean, there, there's probably not even five cents worth of cleanser on the belts and under the hood and on the frame and everywhere else, all over the top of the engine and in the fenders and the whole bit, but the end result is it's not squeaking at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some time, let the stuff uh, work in, do whatever it's gonna do, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd even heard people suggest tire shine. That just seems completely contrary. Uh, you don't want the belt slipping. Uh, same thing with the belt dressing. Had a coworker that had a Chevy truck and serpentine belt was squeaking on him, so he tried belt dressing and just got worse. And it was worse not by chirping, it was squealing and squalling going down the road because the belt was slipping. And I think tire shine would have been the same answer. Wasn't anything I was gonna go ahead and, and try out. I mean, if you wanna try tire shine and think that'll work for you, great. Your belt, your engine, your deal. Uh, I, I can't advocate it. I've, I've never seen anybody else use it. Uh, the mechanics that work on the city equipment, I trust them. Uh, I trust their abilities. And if they say that this stuff works, fine, I'll give it a shot. You know, like I said, I've got maybe five or 10 cents worth of cleanser everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. So if it goes ahead and, and resolves the issue, then I have a $50 belt that I can either go ahead and hang out for a spare or I'll go ahead and just send it back for the credit. Either way, it's fine. But <laughs> I, I can't help but laugh. I never would have thought of this. I said, baby powder was as close as I got. And like I said, that only worked for a little while. You'll have a wonderful afternoon. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm on my weekend. So we'll see what go comes next. But uh, I got a trip to Tulsa tomorrow and hospital shift on Wednesday morning and all the, the fun stuff that comes with living around here. Have a good one.